Hello, my name is Dr. John Sapola, and I teach clarinet and saxophone at Western Kentucky University. Uh, I'm going to go over some clarinet warm-ups with you that I use that I think are very helpful for any, most any level student. And uh, I think it will help you give, uh, get some good uh, foundations into how to blow up good characteristic sound in the clarinet, maybe develop some good uh, hand position and finger motion, legato connection between notes, as well as some good articulation habits. So I put up here, a, oops, on this side here, I put uh, a link for you to go ahead and download a copy of this set of warm-ups. Uh, they're free, and just please go down and pass them out to your friends if you'd like to. I just want to encourage uh, good clarinet playing amongst everybody who uh, wants to enjoy this instrument. So on the first page, uh, it says long tones, chromatic scale, ascending. And I'd say to go through this entire set of exercises takes about five to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna put my metronome on 60, and what I'm going to do is start out with just air and then gradually crescendo into a very uh, full forte and then de gradually decrescendo. And I'm going to count up six and down six. And what I encourage you to do is just go through this whole set of exercises like this. Take as many breaks as you need. Reset your embouchure. Your tongue position should always be in a little bit slightly arched position. When you blow your air, you should be thinking shh, as if you're going to say the word shoo, shoo, where your lower lip is flat against your teeth, your corners are firm, your chin is flat, as if you're going to say the letter U, U. U, but don't say the letter U with a puckered set of lips. Keep that lower lip flat against your lower teeth. U, like that. Good job, everybody. So we're going to go ahead and uh, move up to the next set, which is the air tone crescendo decrescendo. It's on the next couple pages down. Um, and what I do in this set of exercises is just try to get you aware that uh, what produces a sound is a combination of a few things. Number one, you have your ear. And when your ear tells you to do something, very often the clarinet will react to it. If your ear doesn't know what to, that it should be doing, then the, the fingerings, the keys, oftentimes won't uh, respond and we think we have trouble with something. So I'm trying to help you connect your air, your ears, and your lip, against, lip pressure against the reed. So the little diamond-shaped notes uh, on this page are uh, a set of, uh, you, you can use any note you'd like. So I'm going to use an open G and just blow into the uh, uh, open G with just air. Just so I can get a feel of blowing air through the clarinet. Second, what I'm going to do is play some of the dynamics that are marked. And you can experiment with that uh, however you like on the sheet. Uh, some crescendos, some decrescendos. Then I'm going to let a note speak at the end of my air, uh, just through my lip pressure against the reed. I'm not going to bite. I'm just going to hear the note and commit my air until the note wants to uh, speak uh, nice and short. No tongue is involved here. So I don't start the air with the tongue, and I don't start the note with the tongue, I don't end the note with the tongue in this exercise. Just like that. Um, then I let the note speak a little longer as a half note. Um, and etc. So what we're trying to encourage here is just some awareness of the lower lips uh, role in, in producing a sound. Okay, let's go over to the harmonics and overtones. And here what we would like to do is have you play a nice full resonant low C and then gently switch, uh, press your register key with a very a smooth a connection as you can. Now you'll find that sometimes when you make this uh, connection to the upper register, a twelfth above that C, which is a G, you'll find that the note wants to pop out like this. Because you're pressing that key very, very quickly and you're sort of almost accenting the note. What we're trying to do though is get a very gentle connection to the two notes. So you'll have to probably 
uh, adjust your air speed as well, and this is what we're trying to practice. So what you'll do is you'll play a nice strong G. You may have to slow your air speed down very slightly in order to enable that or low C and enable that low G to come out very smoothly. Now we're not encouraging you to go ba ha 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 like that, like puffing of air, but there is a change in airspeed as we go through various registers. We're not blowing, although we always tell you to blow a constant steady stream of air in general, sometimes that constant steady air stream will change in speed. can continue on with that, I would encourage you to hold those notes out for as long as you can and work your way all the way down to the low E. Again, each time, each set of notes uh, and each set of register changes you're making are going to have their own set of uh, little challenges for you to learn to negotiate getting up to, up to that higher register. And again, manipulate your airspeed a little bit, but keep that constant air stream flowing as well. All right, let's go ahead and flip over to the uh, clarion to the altissimo. Oh, and I forgot to mention that we have three basic registers in the clarinet. The shallow mo goes from low E up to throat B flat, and then from from B, long B, that's the shallow, uh, shallow mo, long B up to high C is the um, clarion register, and then from C sharp, excuse me, I just ate lunch, from C sharp all the way up to uh, any note that we can get as high as we can get is called the altissimo register. And so uh, we just practiced with the previous exercise getting from our shallow mode to our clarion. Let's get from our clarion to our, our altissimo. No uh, tongue and just a big strong puff of air. And that will help you to learn with no tongue at all to sort of know where the note is placed uh, through a combination of your lip pressure and your air. The next exercise, half step and whole step trills, uh, practice our finger position uh, and as well as our air speed. And I try these at various speeds, so at 60. <laughs> What I'm trying to do is get my E to my F and then my E to my F sharp. And I notice that what I'm doing is getting my E to my F sharp. I'm actually moving both pinkies. And I do that so that I can practice when I play my scales. I'm going to be able to transition smoothly without having any little bleeps and blurps between the two notes. Work this one all the way through as, as uh, far as you can. And you'll notice that at the end you'll get across the break uh, of the clarinet above the throat A, uh, A sharp or B flat and you'll get up to about a C and then that exercise will end. And the last little exercise is a set of articulations and I uh, just five notes make sure that the first four sixteenth notes are short as well as the last quarter note. <laughs> Please contact me if you have any questions at all. Thank you very much and happy practicing.